Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying our Spark interview question series. I have also started to cover some of non-interview related topics like uh, you know uh, they can be conceptual questions during interview and they can be uh, generic knowledge related topics. So uh, you know if you want any topic of your interest, interest please post it in our comment section. I'll be making a video on that. Today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, broadcast variables. So broadcast variable is a very, very, you know, commonly used concept in in Spark world. So imagine a situation where you want to make some information. That information can be a variable, uh, a small RDD, or a collection of some object, or a database connection, or anything. That information can be anything you want to make that information available on all of your workers so that your executors can use that information and uh, process the data as part of executing tasks so uh, that is done using broadcast variable so broadcast variables are uh, read only variables which can be copied on all the workers and uh, that variables can be used right away uh, you are not supposed to edit or make any changes in the value of those variables so here in my diagram uh, i am broadcasting a variable named m in driver i just called sc dot broadcast m and m is being broadcasted broadcasted to all the workers and uh, you know task running under executors can access that common variable uh, you can you can uh, switch off or you can uh, you know call a destroy function to make sure that uh, you know uh, if you if you want that no uh, worker is using that broadcast variable uh, anymore so if if you want to make sure that uh, workers stop using the broadcast variable you can call the destroy method i'll show it as a demo uh, to everyone let me close it first okay so here I have uh, uh, here, here let, let us first understand what is the example that we're going to cover so I have a RDD in which I have one column as name and other column is department ID and then I'm going to have a hash map which is going to have department ID and department name I want to join these two things and print employer employee name department ID and department name I want to print three things uh, I want to uh, print a RDD or a, a collection uh, which will have three columns first column will be name second column will be department ID third column will be department name so uh, here we to do this we are going to take help of broadcast variables so uh, let us see Okay, I have created a list of uh, uh, values uh, you know uh, first column is uh, name of employee and second column is ID now I'm just creating a RDD the name of that RDD is EMP employee now I could I have one more uh, hash map you know which has uh, key as uh, department ID and value as department name here if I take an example one is department ID and a is department name in this hash map so uh, I am going to create this hash map let us create it create the hash map is created now I'm going to broadcast this hash map so I could create a RDD and broadcast it also that is also one way uh, but normally I prefer to broadcast hash maps in these kind of scenarios because it is convenient to use them I find it very convenient to use uh, these uh, uh, you know broadcasted collections because I can just do a you know uh, uh, look up on this hash map and use it okay so my department uh, uh, hash map is broadcasted you can see it here uh, now I can right away use it so what I am doing here is I am calling a map function on my employee 
RDD. I am uh, taking first column, second column, and then I'm from my department hash map, which I had broadcasted. I am searching the value of uh, uh, the department, searching the name of department, and then just appending it with the existing string. And then jump, I'm just printing. Let us see how it works. Cool. It is giving me the desired results. So one thing to notice here is that I am calling broadcast variable name dot value. This value function is important to use broadcast variable. If you are not uh, saying dot value, then you are not using the broadcasted variable. So what the value function does? So value function first checks if if this variable is broadcasted or not. Is it a valid broadcasted variable? And then it gives access to the local copy of uh, that variable which is whichever is there in that executor and uses it as part of the task execution so by default broadcasted variables are cached on the local machine you can also unpersist them by calling dot unpersist method so here we have called dot unpersist method and it is unpersisted so i can still run my logic on unpersisted broadcast variable. So if I call the destroy function, that means I am asking all my workers to destroy their copy of that broadcast variable and not to use it uh, for any task execution. So let us destroy it. Okay, it is destroyed. Now I should get an error if I try to access that broadcast variable. So we have got an error. Spark exception task not serializable. Cool. So you can broadcast anything. You can broadcast a database object. If you want to do look up in a database, you can broadcast uh, a RDD. You can broadcast a hash map, anything, anything that you want. Uh, so I hope this is useful. This video was useful. I, uh, you know, if you have any co uh, comments or if you have any suggestions, please post it in comment section. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.